Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day, and we got our our homie, Mr. Wasubi, back. How are we doing today, sir? Hey man, all good, all good. Happy to be back on the channel, jamming some, well, not a new deck, but uh, definitely a breath of fresh air as a uh, poor elves, man. The, the, drill, the drilling has been rough for the last couple of seasons, but... With line pockets kind of drifting away from the meta, I we're start we're starting to see elves again, which is only logical. Right. Yeah, because getting that straight three from the drill and all your dead eyes just getting. Yeah, they just get completely obliterated. Getting gnomed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this is a uh, Colomon Red Rain creation correct from the yeah uh, the the aratusa boys they did quite well with elves in the qualifier which makes sense um this is the so-called uh regular elves right we're not playing any traps it's just like the value the good old old value uh elf decks yeah um, we we changed something too we put in curse and yeah uh, There's a so you probably saw Red Rain and Shaggy playing the Great Oak in this deck, and of course you could play Oak or Gezra, but we opted for something similar to Colomons for Leather, playing a Curse of Corruption and Elias instead. Yeah, it seemed to Just, work better, um, at least yeah, it, for it, Ladder. For sure, yeah. I mean, Curse just gives you another answer to all the greedy decks running around. It's great against Pirate Cove if you're going to run into any cloggers or Vs. Yeah, Curse is your friend, obviously. Um, and Elias is also very nice, right? Uh, helps you defend the bleed, sets up more dead eyes for the Ice and Grim Yavin, Vernosil. I, I think it just fits the deck very well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I like Redalus. I like the Singletons. So I think it's fun yeah, to play. Well, and if you uh, uh -huh. if you run into Mill, you could just smile and know that it's going to be really hard for them to mill <laughs> all your no cards. Yeah, yeah. There's no yeah. thinning. Draw your golds in a Nero. Uh, you're, oh, yes. But, I mean, uh, this deck does run like 14 bronzes. Yeah. So, and I think 12 of them, no, actually, yeah, all of your bronzes are just four provision cards. Yeah. And yeah, then you've got Maxi for some utility, Ciaran for a nice lock. And then you've got a couple of your little golds, uh, which you're obliged to draw because, yeah, can't really win a game playing too many for provision bronzes, can we now? Yeah. Um, if the other version had um, Oak and the Purify Elf. Yes, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of the double nines, yeah. Yeah, so if you want to try I, that I, I one, honestly. Some... I prefer this one, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. The, like the purify, I think it's only going to come into play like maybe against if you run into Kelly. Uh, you know that would be a problem. But if you have these two, you're good because you curse one and heat wave the other. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and then again, we also have like Ciara and Dragoon. So this deck actually does very well against all these uh, Kellys, Rolock or Kellys. Yeah. Yeah, but um. But yeah, super fun list. It'll be in the comments. Um, keep an eye out for the meta snapshot. The guys are gonna have the meeting, which would be today. Um, so you should... yeah, if, the, if this is if this is coming out Monday, that's when we're gonna meet, guys. And then obviously, gonna gonna take some time to write it down. So I wouldn't expect it sooner than Thursday, maybe Wednesday, but I don't wanna give you guys any false hope uh let's just say later towards the end of the week basically yep. yeah that's what i was thinking like friday or saturday mm -hmm. uh so yep. keep an eye out for that um a couple other things from tlg uh quill's been doing the uh the quill and cup flame series where they he just has people <laughs> on and they rip people to shreds there's a bunch of that the videos wonderful. on yeah on the tlg uh um youtube i have to link that one in on my thing i have i have i have the discord always on there but yeah. i gotta link the tlg uh youtube there's well, a bunch on there they're pretty funny especially the ones with gravish yeah speaking of tv though since it's monday i know chesy is gonna be doing coaching on our on our channel oh it's uh, spider <laughs> yeah spider chicken winning the raffle our ex-teammates so that should be fun yeah um, like and spider. then on thursday i think 20th of may there's gonna be paya coaching so that that should also be some high quality 
content, you know? Yeah, yeah, he'll have you playing um, some good stuff, yeah, too. Just on Twitch, uh, literally, twitch.tv slash and gaming. And then, if you want to, you know, get your own chance to get some free coaching, all you have to do is enter our Discord server and just wait for the next raffle. Yeah, it's, and that's it. It's real easy. You, the only the only thing is you can't have any uh, username that's super offensive. Yeah, um, that's please, the only thing. Do that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> somebody somebody won and their name was like, you, I, I I I couldn't believe that someone would have a name like that. And I was just like, yeah, uh, yeah you got disqualified just because you want to <laughs> play, you know. And and more than likely too. I mean, there is a lot of people on our Discord, so like. You know, mm -hmm. it's not really a smart idea to think you're cute. You know, having some yeah, don't, don't hate that, shit guys, for your name. Cause... Don't, don't be, don't be that guy. Yeah. yeah. Every once in a while, I'll, you know, because I'm mod on the the Gwent official Discord, and every once in a while, somebody comes in there with some avatars and stuff, and it's like um, they just don't know what hit them. All of a sudden, they're just not on the server anymore, and <laughs> they wonder why. <laughs> and it's like, well, um, turns out having Hitler for your avatar isn't a smart idea. But, um, Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I still can't believe there's people like that in the world today, man. I really yeah. can't. It's just. I mean, it's just uh, some. It's it's just the internet, right? Yeah, I don't know. People, but... people just think, yeah. I but on a positive away, note, but... yes, definitely check out the Discord, and you can possibly win some coaching. Which, you know, I mean, getting coaching from you know season two world master champ Podjable is. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, a pretty good uh, lottery. That, that's, lottery, you know. I'm sure a lot of people enter that one. But besides, uh, besides, like the meta is still kind of fresh. Like, sure, we're gonna meet today for the meta report, but it's a very interesting discussion that I'm looking forward to because a lot of things are still quite unclear. Yeah, um, there's some people that say you know, full test is good. Other people think it's garbage. I'm one that I, thinks I'm it's one garbage, <laughs> personally. Those people, yeah. I don't think it's good. I think it's a gimmick deck. It's uh, yeah. It, you said it right. Like it's, it's just one of those combo decks. Which sure you get the red coin, you draw the full Exodia. Okay, you come in a game. Yeah, but it's you know it's traps with bodies. That's what I wanted to go with the. the you know, <laughs> is if you play all your stuff and have traps at the end. You're gonna win if you have all your stuff and you make a bunch of copies. You're probably gonna win, but I don't know. Yeah. I just I don't. Know. I mean, I I can't see it being any higher than like three seventy five, maybe four stars. But I yeah, it just doesn't live up to the hype, right? Mm -mm. And, and whereas I, whereas elves, they are just a solid deck. Um, they have the control tools. They can swarm very quickly. I mean, it's nice to see Radea back after they buffed the I've always the loved Elden. this card. Yeah, it's super good. You you pretty much always go melee just so do, that you get the saber. And uh, yeah, now you can flip your two power elves to another dead eye. Yeah. So that's a very nice buff for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a couple games here. Probably some blooper games later on in the week. We had a pretty long session with this deck. So um, yeah, we got a lot of footage they're... with it. Oh boy, there are quite a few bloopers, guys. Let me tell you. Someone um, even someone even went with my uh, my Matic deck. They made some changes to it, but uh, Shiro Matic. Uh, but that'll be later on in the week. You'll have to wait for that one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but a couple games. We'll see you guys at the end. And one Skellige yeah, um... game. Imperial formation. Good coin. Very good. Mm -hmm. Could could be could be like some sort of a ball enforcers again, maybe Emir aristocrats. Uh, I mean the spores could be good. This okay. Card. Yeah. Interesting and maybe the bowman or maybe the bomber. Yeah, probably those two, right? Okay. Mm hmm. Like I said, like this deck has to take its mulligans, right? We don't have the Onero, we don't have the Fain Death, so yep, <laughs> have to take the mulligan. <laughs> okay. So that's our Making bomb. Making a bomb, coming in hot. Yep. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um. Okay. 
crossbowmen. Now that's a blast from the past. They're bad though. I, I don't, think I'm... it's. I think it's. You know what it is? It's just like a wholesome uh, soldier deck. That's what it is. So we just take the neophyte. Mm, we could, yeah. We or could. just sure. fifty fifty the maxi. Go maxi now, or go saboteur and put it on. I guess Elias. I, I. I mean, you're gonna play all three of those cards. I don't think the order really matters too much. Yeah, the pings on this can be weird. If he doesn't play another... Yeah, he will definitely probably just play the second one and if kill one of those. If he doesn't have it, though, it's going to be weird. Because we could just <laughs> Yeah, we can get some... Oh, he did have yeah. it. But, like, isn't this good for us that both of the <laughs> crossbowmen are out? Yeah. Pretty decent for us, right? So we play the carryover. Oh, yes. For sure. Question is... Uh, probably Yavin, right? Keep yeah. it low to the ground. Can we flip that? <laughs> I, I mean, you could. You could also wait. Uh, uh, yeah, I think you just hold, right? The random damage, it's either gonna kill it, or... It's put the... <laughs> the elf to one. And yeah. then... Okay, Meno, sure. He's just gonna nuke your board, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Okay, so now we have a bit of a reach with spores or curves. I think it's just Maxi, right? See what's happening. Uh, One, two, three. That's all right, Oniro and Oniro is too far out. The Avian and Verno still towards the bottom. Yeah, that's that has to be a shuffle. All right, that's a shame, but. It's it's also perfectly fine, I think. Um, so if he for spearman, wow, interesting. So the spores play for six. And then the Elias plays for 11, that's 17, and then we use a leader charge or something. Yeah, I, I can get behind that. We go... I think we just play. We play Elias first, because... Mm, I think Spores, actually. Just to... Because we don't want to play the Elias, right? We want to bait him to either play another card or just pass, pass. right? Yeah. Oh, that, I mean, that's good. That's good to get out. <laughs> I think. The engine. So now we're out. I think so, yeah. I, yeah I think none of these... He played bronzes, but... I mean, so have we, right? Yeah. We developed some over even. Yeah. Still can't get over that Shiru game. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Squirrel, that's, is there anything... No, that's, that's what they call maxi value. <laughs> Nothing worth Thanks. squirreling. Oh, yeah. Should be... This is it, right? Oof. Yeah, I that's. I mean, we're missing the even Nosu, but I think, I think this is perfectly fine. If he's gonna bleed, he's gonna be in trouble. If he's gonna pass, okay. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Whoa. <laughs> just. Okay. And Whoa. it's Brathens, so we just curse oh. the shit out of that. Yeah. That's... Oh what? my god. Oh, no. Yeah, because there's nothing to do with the informant, right? Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, Mr. Opponent. Oh, no. <laughs> that was brutal, man. I guess that's that's a bad pull on it, but still, oh, like... Oh, that's just... That's just awful. Feels bad for him. Now you Surper, then and then we Heat Wave it. <laughs> Ramon, does he have the... That, I mean, he should definitely have a soldier, but that's also a very big commitment. Oh, the pikeman. Mm. I think it's fine to defend with the feign death. Means we probably get to save some golds if we play this. Should be fine, right? I would imagine um, he still plays the other... There is uh, there is still Oniro in the deck, and the 
Onira and Verno, I think. And right. Other things. Okay. Um, we could just go Elias, right? Get rid of the Joachim, which makes her engine grow. Still back row, though. It doesn't matter, though, right? Sure, yeah. We definitely go back row. I do what I just, uh, like, the Aileron is gonna jump out anyway, right? But yeah. That's, uh, we're just making our Yaven I threatening now. I think he's got ball, but... Maybe, maybe, yeah. I, I w would make sense for it to... Okay, so he just kills the engine anyway. That's fair enough. Oh. So he's just making... Wait, but... Isn't that... Yeah, like, he's just making our Yaven good. <laughs> so we're just hitting this six, right? Uh, it's hitting for six right now. We have to do so you could there. actually hit the one with three armor. It's kind of funny. Oh, it goes back row too. Ah, not that it matters. Right? Yeah, it's gonna hit Alaran no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a Bowman. Ice and Grim, like, what do we even save at this point? I guess just Leader is pretty good. Ah, yeah. Bowman value D Knight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nice, that's nice horrible. performance. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> so we, we just played the Bowman, bone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Oh, the Brathens was brutal. Holy yeah, cow. Yeah, 20 point Brathens just oh, getting. Night. I mean, that was just an unfortunate Joachim, right? True. If it pulled the Ramon first, he would have been so happy. Because then he can just broaden and boost one of the soldiers. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing he can do at this point, unfortunately, for him, but... Yeah, I think yeah. we saved the Redea towards the end. As it, as it happens, uh, Joachim into Bradens for 20 points is not very good. Not with nothing yeah. else on the board. Um, yeah. Drop the Bomber first? Mmm... The Bomber officer. could be better than the officer, right? Yeah. Nice. I think that's the hand. Yeah, I think that's the hand. I like the Bomber. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Swordmaster. Mm hmm. Engine time, baby. Funnily enough, this Verno could still be played front row. I but think. We we want to go back row, right? Just ice and grim bodies. Oh. Opponent. If he has location, yeah. he might have a chance. Yeah. Because uh, he know. has coup, he's going to have double Joaquin. Although we get the heat wave one of them. Yeah, exactly. What? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Do we just take the bomber now? Yeah, ping first and then. Do you think. Do I ping the There's armor? There's gonna be a better heat wave. Yeah, because mm. he's gonna walk him something huge. So he, you think he definitely plays Cantarella and just okay? For sure. Yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see that. All right. Ping, sure. Ping the armor. Mm -hmm. I mean, ultimately, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> yep. Oh well. I mean, it could be kind of close. Ish? I think it. I think he's gonna win. Nah, there's absolutely no way. If he has no ball, way. ball. No, maybe he doesn't fit it. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, because that's our heat wave. If he has Most usurper, likely, yeah. we don't have to heat wave right away, right? Oh, that's yeah, we don't so have lucky. to heat wave this right away. We can just go. Vernosio. Or, yeah, probably we're not still right. Back row, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just ice and green value at this point. Plus right. three. Yeah. Oh, we get one here, too, on a flip, possibly. Yes. Come so on, usurper, usurper. <laughs> if it's an engine, then... We could heat wave it if it's not. We can just wait again. Just a lock. Not very, lock. very useful. Very useful. I like it. 
Redea plays into double poison. Um, I mean, he could have something like Damien. Is that worth heat waving over? No. So we just heat wave. That's a twelve heat wave. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just heat wave at thirteen. He did play. No, he didn't play any fangs yet. He's straight yeah. soldiers. I think he just waits. He shouldn't have fangs anyway, but it's like. I think we're this good. just makes it more awkward for him. He's gonna have like, yeah. There's yeah, the other. Yeah, yeah. I I guess we didn't really achieve anything, but playing around double fang smile. Yeah. Do we we click right? Yes, for sure. Yeah. I mean, we want the order right, just to get yeah. the plus one. Uh, Should be a game here, easy. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't think it's even close. Yeah, his last card uh, he, is... he still had a lot of juice left, which was surprising after what yeah. happened in round two. Heatwave, okay. Easy. Well, interesting game, interesting game for sure. Oh, the value. <laughs> That's a lot of good items. My dude, he's a juicer. Yeah. 52. From 38 to 52. That's a pretty good ice and group. Hell yeah. All right, good game. Wholesome, like the, the Bradens just did him dirty. Yeah. Uh, the, the Joachim rather pulling the Bradens, that was just brutal, right? Yeah. If he gets it the other way around, as in Ramon into Soldier first and then the Bradens, could have been uh, trouble. a different look, right? Yeah, could have been trouble. We might not have gained the card. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I think we still win by a couple. Maybe we have to commit one of the bigger goals though, but right. yeah. Would have been very close otherwise, for sure. It's it's honestly it's like, um, shit. I was gonna compare it to something. Like, yeah. Uh, people are already on the cove train. Yeah. So that's cute. Um, we have like five bad bronzes to play, which is pretty decent, right? Yeah, these are actually pretty good in this deck. Yeah, they 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 are like fives now, not bad at all. Um, I mean, the movement could probably go. Just try to look for a gold. Uh, maybe. I mean, he should never go too tall in this round, so maybe the spores. Uh, sure. Yeah. Just one play. Okay. That's that's okay, honestly. Sewer Raiders. Sewer Raiders. Right. Um, so I think we're stacking Melee. Back row because Back row. of the Enchantress, right? Okay. Um, so we just right. play the Bomber or we play the Sack? The the bom bomber seems fine. Oh, you mean Pyrotech? Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, I guess that's fine too. Oh yeah, we got this one, huh? I guess I could hit. The yeah, boat. there's so many bombers in this uh, hand. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Wait, isn't that's what? bad? Why? Like you shouldn't do it that early. I mean, you get the boat out, but no, you don't he even get the boat out. No, he paid the tribute to go through the armor. That's such a bad play. Wow. So now we bomber. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we just play our bad cards now. I don't understand. I mean, I guess he just wants to win, win the round quickly, but... I mean, we have a I nice answer. Well, yeah, we have a nice answer for his... Uh... Yeah, this is all the life coach stuff. Mm. Yeah, it looks like just double thinners, bunch of 70 peep cards, like, like the Redrain deck, right? This might actually come into play, huh? Yeah, I think if you he... go Enchantress first. Uh, then the Witcher maybe. Basically, we're just getting rid of our uh, non-elf cards, right? Right. Yeah. So then we got to deal with. We got the answer for Saul. Um... <laughs> Yavin is also going to be pretty big. True. Yeah, they don't have uh, like drill or. Yeah. Bloody good friends or anything like that. So we don't have to be worried about our elves getting killed. Um, he also doesn't have room for Tim Boy since he spent twenty provisions on the thinning cards. So yeah, I mean, 
problem for him is we can stay in this round for much longer than he would He's like that. Ben okay. and the Roland that's too. Not... Yeah, that's, uh, that's not... not good for him. Again, we can just go with the neophytes, right? <laughs> and that's like. And then we can play the Witcher. <laughs> Depen depends what he commits here, I suppose. Well, I mean, if you play this, know. you play... well. Okay, there we go. Yeah. He's finally gaining some coins. He gets the boat out. He gets out. the boat out. Um, and basically... We would get there with, like... Elias. Uh, Elias and Ellering coming out, which is probably worth it just to get the boat out. Uh, just to get the long round. We have oh, Ellering in hand. <laughs> right, 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 right. Unfortunate. So, I guess there goes that plan. <laughs> so, Elias is a 10, 11 with the transform, 12 with the thingy. And then the Witcher plays for 6. Yeah, it's not enough, right? We would have to, like, use leader charges. So, we just pass. Probably smarter to just pass, yeah. Oh, the Eller in on the last mulligan, right? <laughs> yeah, 15 unique cards. We draw the it's one okay, brick. Like... <laughs> the one fucking brick. In the, the, the fact that she comes out of the deck during the bleed is probably even better for us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Drop this bomb, huh? He's got mm -hmm, a flood. For sure. Ooh, yeah. that's Ooh. good. Yeah, this is a this is a hand, that's for sure. I can get behind that. So we got the lock for either a C a what? Yeah, I mean, he, I guess he's just looking for a proactive play. Yeah, that, this this is not that bad. It makes sense, kind of. So we just play the maxi. We don't care, right? I. Mean... Is that true? Or does he, I mean, because the taller this goes, the better it is for us, right? We, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, we don't want to lock or kill that, that's for sure. But the question is, how are we actually defending this bleed? Because if you go Moxy, then the engine you get from Fane that doesn't work. Oh, okay. True. But also trading Fane Death for... Hmm... Yeah, I mean, you could you could go Moxie first. I guess you play front or back. Right. Probably front, yeah. We are getting the Ver now. We won't get the Ice and Grim though, which is probably fine. Yeah, it looks like a confirm, right? So now he he wants to get to at least seven coins so he can. Yeah, I mean, he will he will definitely keep way. He's confident in a long round, seriously. So we just go... Yeah, we just go out of... Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, the out of actually counts itself. It's kind of cute. Um, okay. So we know we get the Verna. We know we miss the Ice and Grim. But, like, honestly, our hand is nearly full golden then. Right. So we can even play the Squirrel to banish the boat. I guess you just ditch the officer and get the Verno, right? Yeah, perfect. We stay here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess it's banish time. <laughs> Buy a boat! Yeah. Go oh, ship! That's so cute. Seven squirrel point being... squirrel! Look out! <laughs> it's not bad, it's not bad. No, it's huge. I mean, it's. And plus two, we have like you know, damage, you know, that... Mm -hmm. I like this Vernosil is gonna be disgusting in the front row. Plays the Jackal. Could just be our curse. Oh. it's gonna wait for that boat to come out. Mm -hmm. gonna be waiting a long time, sir. <laughs> yeah. So we're going... So I suppose you just go... Fain death, right? Like, hmm... Problem with... Right, we don't want to play the Radea into the poison, right? Right. So I guess we just hold. Yeah, we could just go faint death, sure. Back row. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
architecture. So he's gonna lose two tall units for sure. Yeah. He's gonna get Helvede locked. So we don't have to worry about that. I don't think they play Helvede. Life coach does. <laughs> well. That's, oh, uh, he's going Gilbert. We locked that, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah, that, that's basically a. Uh, a spend. Well. Oh. What? Okay. Oh, it's it's not like it's not completely nonsensical. It's just. What but if we yeah, it seems like here, man. Oh my god! It seems like a decent Yaron to me on the because it's a very efficient spender essentially. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Why would you ever? Oh god, he's going so tall. Crazy. Okay. Yeah, that could just be our back Ciara. row or front row. You can go back, sure. You could also, honestly, Elias the engine. Um, yeah, I think you Elias the engine and then you go uh, Bowman. And you kill the five, right? With the melee. So we go Elias now, back row? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Should be good. It does. It's not even growing, though. We got the squirrel on the board. Yeah, exactly. And it's poisoned, so I think that's why we just destroy it. I wasn't thinking about destroying the squirrel, right? I just, yeah, I just yeah. think you destroy the engine and uh, call it a day. Yeah, I mean, it should be. Like, are, are you ready for this Omega Vernosio? Like, Jesus. <laughs> it's gonna be so big. Oh, boy. Yeah, he gets some spenders here. Well, he's gotta play some coins. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, I guess he just goes for this. Sure. Question. Yeah, yeah, so he's down. Sp okay, so now we just kill the five for sure. Back row, huh? We have to. Mm -hmm. Back row this, and then just nuke it. And if it lands back row, then sure. Yeah, okay. Still, we still get the Yavin. Uh, and I mean, he's very likely going to poison the Elias, right? Right. You would think. So they, uh, yeah, because he hasn't they, played uh, any traffic. Well, he played one trafficker. Mm -hmm. No, I mean. He played Trafficker and he played Fistak. Ooh. Horson. Sure. We have to line up. that. Kills a token. He should. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what they try to do. It's not good anyway. You probably still lock it though, right? Mm hmm. Because, still yeah. Still back row though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, because they do play like shakedowns. The buff back. Yeah, up. I mean, he he can definitely kill at least two elves with this, probably even three. So I think it's good that we uh, answered it. Um, could just go Redea front now. Plays into the poison, but honestly, that's probably fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. We don't proc it yet, though, right? You can proc it. I, I don't see why not. Don't see why not. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because he managed to kill some of our tokens, but he's still getting completely nuked. Right. Uh, mm. So I wonder if we get a better Yavin than this. Probably should. Yeah, we could just... honestly just Yavin for value on the Ziggy. One, two, three, four, five. Damage is by five. If you go full leader back, you can kill the Ziggy with the Yavin. Uh, he counts himself, right? Yeah. So how many so... leader charges? All of them. Yeah, just all of them, right? I think you just stack the back row, nuke the Siggy, and then uh, we probably use Curse and then Verno, right? We flip this, right? To make it an edit dead eye? Mm hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Extra points on Verno skill. So we have to heat wave and thing first, right? To get our I yeah, probably. I think I think you curse first. I honestly don't know what you think this is. 
Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I think he's getting cooked on here. It's gonna be a... Mm -hmm. I mean, the, hard, the the junior did some work, but ultimately, like, the long round against... Kurt. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he did purify this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can just... This is not good, by the way. Like, it's not even efficient spending, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we still go front row? Yeah, I think it's still front row, no seal. We basically waited a turn, which enabled him to do this, but whatever. It's fine. Even if it hits the jackpot once. Okay, sure. Mm, does he even have any coins left? Like, I don't think... Like, he can have Jacques. Yeah, his last card Jacques. Heck, no, he can okay. Yeah, it's probably the last card Jacques, right? I would imagine. But we... So we missed two points on the heat wave either way. Yeah. Mm. GG. Kind of, kind of but yeah, they can't do much in a long round, right? Mm -mm. No, he had a bunch of uh, awkward spenders and no coins. Yeah, exactly. Vasubi! Some ladder leverage this week. We missed a couple weeks, man, but we're back. Um, I, I like this list. It's something different. Um, mm -hmm. It it does seem like it's more of a tournament list, but you could definitely yeah, like, tough out some wins. Obvi obviously, it's going to do better on red coin than it's going to do on blue, usually. Um, just due to the fact that you're playing, like, 14 bronzes, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> Right, right, right. But, I mean, yeah, now that Drill is uh, not as popular as it used to be, elves elves are back in business, right? Like, you don't have to rely on traps if, if you like more elf-oriented decks yourself. Especially after the buff to Radea, um, the neophyte commandos are very nice. Creating more uh, Deadeye tokens for the Vernosil and such, so... Yeah, there, there's a lot of power in the deck. Yeah, um, yeah. If you draw your provided. golds, it oh, that, exactly. You're gonna be. I, really, I was just gonna say <laughs> you're gonna be really happy with the list. If you draw a bunch of bronzes or run into clog, you're gonna be crying on the inside. Yeah, I mean the deck, the deck does have the oniromancy and the moxy, but it's still very, very draw dependent. So just, yeah. just be talented, guys. Have to be good at the game, you know. Yeah. Um. What's uh, coming up from the website? Anything good? Uh, well, Meta Snapshot probably won't be out till like, probably, this will be out on Monday, so maybe like Friday mm -hmm. or well, Saturday. Monday, Monday is when we have the meeting. Um, right. So I would actually expect it like later this week. Yeah, that's what I figured, like Friday or Saturday. Well, maybe sooner than that. It really just depends how, how quickly we can put it together. How many, how many write-ups Gravish does? <laughs> I don't know yet, sir, but I would hope for at least one, right? Yeah. But uh, if, yeah, if you're looking for that spark in your life, well, dwarves are not that spark, <laughs> mm -hmm, right? It's just poetry, right? Or, right. but um, yeah. yeah, that should be good. So keep an eye out for that. I know uh, everybody likes when the snapshot comes out. Um, so like the meta, the meta is still a bit wild. Um. The qualifier certainly has shown us some things. Uh, for example, just like the Cove deck we played against uh, could be good, which certainly comes as a surprise to most people, right? Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, still, a lot of the old meta decks are doing more than fine. So there's going to be some new stuff, a lot of old stuff too. So Yeah, yeah. So keep an eye out for that. Um... Like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Wasubi, like always, thank you for recording with me, sir. I always enjoy yep. it. Thanks for having me, man. Yep. And uh, we'll see you guys next week, hopefully, for another Ladder Leverage.